everyone this uh, video is about the models related to the second week of development so that there is a better understanding of the second week of development now um, as you see the blastocyst gets implanted in the uterine endometrium and the trophoblast divides into inner cytotrophoblast of mononucleated cells and the outer syncytial trophoblast of multinucleated cells now this cytotrophoblast has got mitotic activity so the cells are developing in the cytotrophoblast and getting added to the syncytial trophoblast forming the syncytium right at the same time in the inner cell mass embryonic disc is formed and that embryonic disc is lined by epiblast and hypoblast epiblast is made up of tall columnar cells and hypoblast is of cuboidal cells now this epiblast also undergoes some changes to form amniotic cavity lined by amnioblast these are single um, cell structures amnioblast is there and the amniotic cavity is towards the epiblast whereas towards the hypoblast there is presence of primary yolk sac and that becomes secondary and tertiary yolk sac finally by um, getting smaller and a definitive yolk sac is finally formed this is lined by husserl's membrane in this also you can see this is amniotic cavity with the tall columnar cells of epiblast and yolk sac lined by cuboidal cells and these are the amnioblasts lining the amniotic cavity this is the connecting stalk now this is here also and this one also these two are the extra embryonic coelom now how this develops what happens initially there is some cells from the yolk sac side they are present between the trophoblast and the yolk sac and that lining of cells is known as extra embryonic mesoderm now this extra embryonic mesoderm undergoes some changes in the form of cell death when cell die small cavities are formed and these small cavities they coalesce together to form a larger cavity that is known as extra embryonic coelom also that is the chorionic cavity now this extra embryonic coelom is lined by two layers one is somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm towards the amniotic cavity and splanchnopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm towards the yolk sac so this is the somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm and the splanchnopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm this is the connecting stalk and by the end of second week cytotrophoblast invades the syncytial trophoblast to form the primary chorionic villi so this is you can see the pink structures are the chorionic villi and when the extra embryonic mesoderm invades this core of cyto and syncytial trophoblast it gets converted to secondary villus villa is plural and villus is singular okay so this is secondary villus when the extra embryonic mesoderm also invades the core of cyto and syncytial trophoblast finally when the blood vessels invade this dry layered core of extra embryonic mesoderm cytotrophoblast and syncytial trophoblast then it becomes tertiary villus so this is very important viva question you get in the examinations how to differentiate between the primary secondary and tertiary villus so it's clear now now here you can see this model is also about you can see here this is cytotrophoblast invading the syncytial trophoblast shown in green so this structure is of primary villus then uh, it gets converted to the ex um, secondary villus by the passage of extra embryonic mesoderm in spore and the tertiary villus is formed when there is presence of blood vessels in this core also so 
So this is how the second week of development is. Now the second week of development is also known as stage of twos. So you will find trophoblast dividing into inner cytotrophoblast and outer syncytiotrophoblast. Then there are two cavities, amniotic cavity and yolk sac. Two layers, epiblast and hypoblast as seen in this, as seen in this model. And extra embryonic mesoderm surrounded by extra embryonic coelom that is somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm and splanchnopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm. So this is the stage of 2's second week of development. You can remember it like this. Thank you.